The modern world depends on electricity. It's not just luxurious that we use to power our devices and enjoy in our free time. It's not even just convenience of having light, heating, and cooling in our houses. Electricity is a crucial resource, not just in urban areas, but as well as in the provinces, to provide security in every house, especially during night. Army Nature was inspired by the Bantayan Electricity as it was the hometown of two members of this group. The source of electricity comes from Isla Norte Energy Corporation or INEC, while its distributor is the Bantayan Electric Cooperative Incorporated or Banalco. Just like the other 118 rural electric cooperatives nationwide, Banalco derives its birth from the provisions of Republic Act 6038, Presidential Decree No. 269, and by Republic Act 1645. As provided also in the aforementioned laws, Banalco exists primarily to effect total electrification in its coverage area on an area coverage basis. Also, it is granted franchise as a non-stock, non-profit distribution utility by NEA in 1978. National Power Corporation, Small Power Utility Group or NPC SPOG provides the power requirements of Banalco as a subsidized rate in 2006. And as of now, it is in partnership with the INEC for the supply of electricity. There are more than 100,000 buildings on Bantayan Island, and each house has its own electric meter. In order to power our homes, a wire normally runs from the meter box to the breaker box, which serves as a safety device for our property. The wiring kicks in at this point, allowing energy to be transmitted. This supply of electricity came from the electric post. That is supplied by a feather owned by Banelco. Originally, Banelco has three feathers each with three phase connections. It distributes power to the whole island which is composed of three local government units, Santa Fe, Bantayan, and Madrideos. Because the voltage flowing into generation is too high to reach our village directly, Banelco utilized power transformers to lower the voltage to a level that can be delivered to our communities. Banelco connects our home to the distribution transformer through a service wire, then reduces the voltage to the amount required by our home, which is 120 to 230 volts, also known as the service drop. After years of suffering from rotational brownout, we the residents of Bantayan Island are now assured of having a stable and more sufficient power supply. This is because of the newly commissioned 23.3 MW bunker fuel power plant of Esla Norte Energy Corporation of Iban Group. The design of this power plant consisted of 5 generators, a tank farm, fuel treatment house, radiator, smokestack, switchgear room, control room, compressor room, and a substation. Diesel is used to start up the generators, which is then converted to bunker fuel to save on expenditure. The main concept of how the power flows in the power plant is that, from the tank farm, the fuel is treated in the fuel treatment house before it is fed to the generators. And from generators, which supply 13.8 kV, it enters the switch gear to the outgoing feeder into transformer in the substation and then transmitted to Banelco by using overhead lines. <laughs> 